KOs. I mean, it's ridiculous. The Lumpini champion, Juna middleweight, and the K1 Max 2004 winner. So, a lot at stake here for Marco Pique. He's a skilled fighter, but up against Boacau, well, he's going to need to be good. He's got the height and reach, and he can certainly bang him in. That straight left, well, it's like a steam piston on the Flying Scotsman, and he knows how to work it, but poor Pramuk, tough. Good left-right combination. He reaches in over the top. Well, Pramuk needs to uh, have a care. And PK very focused. Remy Boniaski in attendance tonight. As is my chum Fred Royers from the Netherlands. from both fighters they're just uh, having a little feel of each other nice tight guard from both fighters but PK doing the work here in the first testing the defenses of Wakao and uh, working very nicely there nice low kick inside thigh but he still looks so relaxed and in so much control doesn't he poor Paramount He doesn't want to become overzealous, Marco PK, because uh, if he slips up, Workout will find a home for a with bells on shot. He's very focused, is the Dutch lad. Well, he's having it his own way, is Pico. With a five-rounder, the ties start very slowly. They warm up. And over the period, well, you start to see just a little bit more pace about the action. And uh, he's got a temper on him, actually, as Boakar Pramuk. Pramuk. And uh, PK just acknowledged at the end of the first round there that he'd had a good round. And he's starting to dish out punishment, but you'll see Buak out. There'll be a point at which you'll go, well, actually, I've had enough of this. of knee strike there PK well he's kept it tight thus far and this has been a good opening round for PK oh very good uppercut with the left first round I would give to PK
So it's still got a nice even pace about it. He's working those hands well. The uppercut's a really top tasty shot, and he's using it well. It's coming right up between Wakao's guard. out he started to up his workload and you can see he's starting to get through the range of PK and uh, putting PK under a bit of pressure now and one thing PK needs to do is keep his composure because Paul Pramuk now starting to rev up and uh, he's given the Dutchman one and a half rounds but uh, well the assassin from Lumpini you give him an inch and he'll take two miles and he's starting to put PK under all kinds of pressure and it's a different look on the face of PK as he goes back to his corner and uh, just when PK thought that he had a grip on this. It's uh, gone up to another level. And look at poor Pramuk, the speed of the boy, but replied very nicely with a great combination by PK. And uh, I, was at I was mentioning full tie rules earlier, and you can see all's fair in love and war and of course this isn't K1 so this is going to score the throw and uh, PK complaining and something wrong with his eyes a quick second for a breather an instruction to Marco PK the referee kind enough to let him have that little rest but I was talking about full tie rules and as I said uh, great bat coming up at the NEC beginning of May Liam Harrison goes in against Mustafa Ziani Richard Cadden against Michael Showers Reese Crooks on that bill as well injury dependent So that particular fight card will be bringing you here on Fight Club later on during the year. But uh, Pain and Glory, of course, part of the Seni Expo at the NEC. And uh, what's not happening there is not worth knowing. www.senishow.co. I say .co.com. Um, Senishow.com. Log on loads of stuff there BJJ Brazilian Jiu Jitsu seminar the Gracies there karate demonstrations Thai demonstrations you name it it's all going on two day event at the NEC Birmingham of course the promoters of that are Fighters Inc and uh, sponsorship from Tiger Beer and talking about a Thai Tiger just look at Paul Pramuk work the low kick now he's really taking control here and uh, Marco PK in that first round and the beginning of the second you really got the sense that you know he was driving and in control but Paul Pramuk now well it's just gone to another level and PK is hanging on to a tiger by its tail Wakapur Pramuk, of course, the winner 
of the K1 Max 2004 and uh, runner-up finalist at 2005. And just look at the boy. He's loving it. And Marco Piquet needs to get those hands up around his temples because I can see a knockdown kick coming for, from Port Pramuk. And he's chopping away, working the low section and the midsection. And <laughs> that's another strong round for Port Pramuk.